everybody, it's Chris and Amanda and we are here for our weekly Instagram live, it's a very exciting one mm. because we have a very special guest joining us a little bit later on in the live, mm. um, So, but obviously we are getting very very close to Professional Beauty North now, it is less than a month, less than a month. It's so, so close, and we are really, really excited to have you all with us. Um, <laughs> yes, oh, lots of people joining. Hello, the, hello everybody, everybody joining. watching. Thank you for joining <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, a couple of things to talk about just before we get underway mm. with things. Um, there's a really exciting competition on at the moment with uh, professional brand Casey. Mm. So, you can find all the details on our Instagram grid or on our Facebook, which um, we'll have... All the details on how you can win a KC Synergy machine, which is worth fifteen thousand pounds. So that's a great machine. Amazing, amazing prize. Really there. great prize. So yeah, just make sure you register and use the promo code. Yes. And when you're at the show, make sure that you go to the KC stand to get your badge scanned because that's what gets you entered into the competition. Yes. Uh, and I've just seen that our special guest mm. has joined the uh, live as well, <laughs> yeah, so, so that's very exciting. And then we have one more thing to l talk about. Yeah, so which... last week we did a, a really cool Christmas professional haul, so all the collections that are coming out for Christmas. But I just wanted to clarify on the Pavonia thing, they're not a seaweed-only brand. Some of their yes. products contain seaweed, but that's not their predominant sale. Yes. That's my, my bad, my bad on that one. Um, but anyway, all that out of the way, yeah. the fun stuff. Uh, we have got a very special guest joining our live today. Uh, mm -hmm. She is one of the most widely requested people to speak at Professional Beauty North. Award winning. Uh, she is an educator. We just, YouTube, Amazing. YouTube stuff. I'll let her introduce herself. <laughs> so why don't we just bring her into the call. Setting We're up. Just connecting. Connecting. Bear with, bear with. Bear with. Bear with. <laughs> coming. Hey, Evan. As long as you can hear us, can you hear us? Am I too high or too low? No, you're, you're good. Perfect. You're good. I think we're a bit too high. Yeah. Now, there we go. Am I all right? You look <laughs> great. I'm looking out, my hair still wet. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the wet hair? Yeah, so for everybody watching, this is the amazing Kirsty Meekin. Um, she's a professional nail tech, an educator, and she's going to be speaking at the Professional Beauty North show about the top trends in nails for 2020. So we thought as a teaser, we would give you guys a little bit of an insight into some of the stuff she'll be talking about. Um, so Kirsty, it'd be great if you could just tell us what some of the big trends you think are going to be for next year. So next um, spring, it's all about ruffles and frills and fringing. All the Fs. Oh, oh very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, if anybody knows me, I love a good a good fringe. I love tassels and all that. Um, so it's about incorporating those kind of shapes and movements into nail designs mm -hmm. things like that. And also colours, um, colours that are going to be big are there are lots of sheer pastels. So which is, you know, there are lots of that around sort of last summer as well, just gone. Um, pleats, pleats are still going to be bang on trend as well. Um, and one of the colour combos, which is going to be big, which I'm so, so excited about, is hot pink and khaki. Oh! I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I love hot pink at any and time. And I love khaki. There we go. <laughs> I know who would have thought, but yeah, it's it's actually, it's normally it's autumnal normally, isn't it? Yeah, but I think it's with the hot pink mm -hmm. into spring, and it, it, and I've seen I've seen loads of fashion at the minute with it. Um, that you know from London Fashion Week and everything like that, and it actually looks really cool because I, I I like a a good colour clash. Yeah. So I, I've, Red and bright pink. Yes. Some people will get a scared when you say those colours together, but I think they look fabulous. Yeah, mm. I guess definitely as well with trends because um, we get our first look at them on the fashion weeks. They're always quite edgy and quite um, quite out mm. there. So how can a, a tech in a salon take that design and do a more wearable look for clients? Well, if you if you look at these at these frills, right, they are very exaggerated very large mm. what you're going to do is you're going to look at that image and look at the shades and the highlights and the movement that gives so 
when I look at the ruffles, I, I do think he emulates um, a marbled effect as well because of the highlights. Mm -hmm. Think about drawing in, and, and I do find it easier to look at a flat image rather than watching like a video of a catwalk, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, you, get that, you can see that instant highlight and the low lights, and now the movement and now the light catches that garment and then take those colours and use those highlights for that into a full set. Cool. Very nice. So what, um, so that's obviously what will be in. What do you think might be heading out? Yeah. Or that might, maybe you'll be glad to see the back of, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I feel like, you know, the holographic chrome nails, I yeah. think they're dying to death. Mm. And, the and I do feel like, um, sort of, I think something that will stick around forever will always be like French ombre and all that. That will always be really popular. Um, I do think the glass nails will start to filter mm. out. Mm. You know, the current loop will start to filter out. I think it'll start to filter out more towards the end of next year, though, to be honest mm. with you. They're still quite popular at the moment, aren't they, glass nails? Yeah, it's yeah. been popular for about a year or so now. So I think, you know, I do I do go on Instagram and when I scroll, I'm like, same, 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 same <laughs> colour, same different colour, same different colour, you know. And, and I think to stand out, it's about, you know, choosing something that's a little bit different and mm -hmm. that type of a little bit. We're really looking into the fashion and where fashion's moving forward. Yeah. yeah. And then what, so obviously, you know, we're talking about Fashion Week. What other kind of inspirations and where else do you get the trends from? So mm. what, what can spark something? Things that spark my imagination are fabrics and cultures. And um, something that um, not everybody sort of looks at all the time. Um, I am inspired by lots of different fabrics from different cultures. So you can, you know, I would definitely sit there and Google and sort of do some research and, and the cogs will start going and imagination will start going and you'll start to come up with your own designs in your head. Mm -hmm. I tend to do my designs while I'm lying in bed falling asleep. You know, that, that, that moment where you are just falling asleep. Mm -hmm. I tend to come up with crazy ideas then. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's the general world around us. The world around us, you know, draw inspiration from those things it could be a it could be a, some, something as simple as a kettle or yeah. it could be <laughs> could an art exhibition and see a technique that an artist has used on a larger scale and then think well how can i how can i incorporate that into a design can i do that on like a mini scale because you know the nails that we do these days are like mini masterpieces <laughs> Trying to look at if, if you can see something in your home, so people that are watching at the minute, wherever they are, if they're at work, skydiving, mm -hmm. um, or if they are, you know, in their home, if they look around their home now and just look at, you know, any kind of object that you probably think is nothing to do with nails, look at it and think, how can I use that object to create a nail design? Yeah. It could be anything, it could be a mug. Or it could be a pattern on the or yeah. a, a that, that little spark that you need. Yeah, yeah. Just, if you start to think about it and, um, you know, stretch what there is there. So, like, at the many time looking at lots of things. Loads of skulls. So, I couldn't hear your last bit. <laughs> I was just saying it was that, like got crystal wear and looking at crystal wear and the and the, um, the silver on the crystal wear and things like that. It's just different things. Anyway, I blab yeah. on. I will blab <laughs> on. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were going to say obviously you're going to be talking about now trends for 2020 at Professional Beauty North. Why do you think the North Show is such a good show to come to as a professional in the industry? Because I'm there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you can register for your ticket through the link in our bio. And Kirsty put the link up on her Facebook as well and her Instagram. Yeah. So, yeah. We come to Manchester yeah. on October 13th to 14th. Exactly. I mean, I think, to be honest with you, 
it's my favourite show. And I'm not just saying that. I don't know if it's because I'm from Stoke-on-Trent and it's, yeah. you know, it is closer to me and I'm maybe surrounded by like-minded people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like the London show, don't get me wrong, but I think the location of the Manchester show is in, like, it, it's a hub of culture and fashion mm -hmm. and I think around tend to have an effect on who actually attends as well um and i i just i just love it it's it's not too big it's not too small you know, i've been to um exhibitions you know all over the world that can be a little bit overwhelming because they're so big and you think yeah, yeah. you know this show you can get round to all the places you need to be in you can see them in fall you, can, you know pick up all the good you can do get a load of education as well. You know, the two days is enough. One, one day, obviously, you wouldn't do everything, but you could jam in some education and mm. as well, and a lot of inspiration. But I just, I do love the Manchester show. That's amazing to hear, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, love it. And obviously, big up the Manchester. I, yeah, I have, I have to say Manchester. that. So, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, uh, I'm the North He's our here. Northern yeah. correspondent. Northern um, and obviously, we just wanted to mention as well, because you were part of the Beautiful Minds charity, so that event mm -hmm. just happened as well. Do you want to just talk a little bit more about that as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, so we were in Clacton-on-Sea at the Royal Hotel, which is actually owned by Georgie and Jason Smedley, mm -hmm. who are, um, are the UK distributors for Nail Harmony, and they have such a fantastic hotel, amazing mm -hmm. Salon, the uh, all that jazz salon. Oh, that, yeah. that, jazz, yeah. that is like a beautiful salon. Um, the whole location and everybody is just so helpful there. The staff and everything was just lovely. So you know, as soon as I landed, it, I, it got a great vibe straight away. As soon as I got there, um, and to be around all you know those like-minded people who absolutely love this industry, want to give you know their time for free yeah. raise awareness for mental health mental health is a massive massive part of me who i am i i suffer myself with mental health um i've got yeah. lots of issues. i think it's very hard to find one person that hasn't been put by someone who's got mental health and i think in the nail industry um I think we sit behind the desk and we put this phone on as if, you know, we're all happy. And then we kind of take on board our current problems. We're in a counsellor at times. But I think, um, I think nail techs are very supportive. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Give that client a chance to offload. And um, and, that, and vice versa, you know, if, you, if, you're that, if you're that close to your clients, you can do that. But um, we, we managed to raise over £20,000. That's is, amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Chris Kitchen did an absolutely amazing job, honest to God. He really pulled it off because it snowballed. This was an idea that Chris had. And he thought, you know, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. And it snowballed and it grew and it grew and it grew. And it, grew, and it, it, it took over Chris's life. And <laughs> yeah. Boom. It's a fantastic job, it, you know, there have been people that have really put in a lot of help for him as well and their time. And it's just phenomenal to see all these different brands come together to do something really good, you yes. know, for this industry. And to have all those brands sat there in the same room, just loving what they're doing and loving being there, and, you know, some people think, oh, well, they're, they're such and such, a, I don't want to sit next to them, or, or they're in that brand, I don't want to sit next to them. There was none, none of that. None of that. No. It was just absolutely lovely. I had, I had the best night. We were on the beach at about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Kirsty. And obviously, everybody can see you on stage at Professional Beauty North.
<laughs> and um, yeah, so thank you very much. I think that is all we've got time for today. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much see. again. We'll and see you at North. Yes, and yeah. we will see everybody in our next live. Yeah, so see you thank you very guys. much. Bye. Bye. Bye.